G'day guys, welcome back. I'm doing a swipe for you today. Little break from the flip cut pause and back to the swipes. I have changed my ratio for my swipes. I found lately that for some reason my cells weren't holding their shape and I don't know whether it's something I've done or whether Floetrol's maybe changed its recipe. It just seems to be thinner than it it had been like previously last year. So anyway, uh, what I've done today is instead of my usual three to one flow troll, I'm doing 2.5 to one flow troll. So in each of these cups, except that one, it's a little bit more in that one, but I did make up 80 grams of flow troll. That's it there. So 80 grams of flow troll to 30 grams of paint and I've used the global impasto so two and a half parts flow troll to one part paint I find if I do two to one it's a bit too thick three to one's a little bit too thin so let's try 2.5 and see how that goes so there's um, 110 grams in each cup now I did make up the black I was just going to have black and white uh, peach lime and blue and then I thought well I don't want very much black so I've added the pink I kind of want like a spring garden feel to to my pour today so um, I am using coconut milk hair serum for the cells I'm just getting the bottle so you can see what it looks like that's it there coconut milk hair serum it's by organics and the first ingredient on the back, not that you can see it, but the first ingredient is dimethicone. So, uh, what am I doing? Three, six, nine, twelve. I think I'll put four drops in each, and I've just put it into my little squeezy bottle so that I can easily get one drop out. Because if you're trying to get four drops and you push that pump, you're going to get a whole stream. You'll probably get ten drops. So, pop, pop it into one of these. So, four drops. And I'm not doing my white because the white's my swipe colour. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Coconut milk hair serum is a lot thicker than your regular treadmill silicone oil. So one drop of coconut milk hair serum is probably equivalent to two drops of treadmill silicone because the sil treadmill is so much thinner. Okay. So we don't really stir our treadmill oil very well, but I can stir this because it's thicker. I can stir it better or more, I guess. I find if I don't stir my coconut milk hair serum, I get big blobs of it in the, in the pour and they kind of stretch out and they make ugly shapes and caterpillars and so... I find it does need to be um, stirred in a little bit better. Okay, so that's my colours. Um, now, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the white up there because that's my swipe colour. So I'm going to leave a space along the top there for the white. And then my colours are going to be here. I'm only going to use a little bit of black and mainly these colours here. I have a peach, which is, it's called shrimp. It's like a terracotta colour. Um, oh, this one I've made myself. It's it's basically just um, green, the light green and yellow, 50-50 green and yellow. So that's that one. It's um, like a lime colour. This one I've also made myself. It's cobalt blue and white mixed together. And then this one's just a pale pink. It's called Peony, but it's just a pale pink. I don't know if you can buy it anymore. And then I've got black and white as well. So those are my colours. Get off there. A little bit of dried green paint. I'm using plastic sheets today for my um, swipes. It was a document holder. And I've cut this and I'll be able to, I should be able to use it three times. So swipe, swipe swipe so that's what i'm using it's a nice thickness if they're reusable you can just wipe them and use them again 
So the way I'm layering my paints, if you've seen my previous swipes, sometimes I pull vertically like this, swipe down, sometimes I pull horizontally like that. Today I'm going to do a puddle pour, or lots of puddle pours, so let's just get started. Little puddles everywhere. And I do want to use pretty much all this paint up. I don't know that I'll use it all because I've got an extra cup now. Because I don't want to use a lot of the black. And I'm going to put my colours on top of each other. I'm going to mix them up a little bit because I want nice multi-coloured cells. That's the plan. So I just need to leave a little bit of a space at the top there for my white. So I'll go through and put blobs everywhere and then I can always fill them up later, eh? So change them up a little bit. They're all going to be a little bit different. Some will be plain, some will have multi-colours on them. And then, of course, I will tilt to cover the canvas. So we will lose a bit of this, you know, we'll lose the round shape, which is fine. Because it will all get tilted. Okay, that's enough blue for now. Let's go with the pink. I wonder what pink and green do together. I guess we'll find out. Put a bit on the blue, and that one can have three colours in it. I'm not going to put it on the um, terracotta because they're too similar in colour. So a pink and a terracotta cell aren't going to do very much, are they? Mm, okay, I think that'll do for the... Oops, I better put some more pink up there. That'll do for now, for those ones. Um, I do want to have a little bit of white as well. I want to have a, like, a little bit of negative space in my pool. I don't want all colours. I'd like a little bit of white plain colours peeping out here and there. My white seems a bit thick. And especially for a swipe, the white, well the swipe colour needs to be a little bit on the thin side. I'm just going to add a little bit of flow troll to it. It just seems a little bit thick the way it's blobbing out. So this doesn't have any oil in it. Okay. Um, now, a little bit of black just here and there. I don't want a lot, as I said. I just, I like the way the black makes rings around cells like you get a lovely pink cell with a, a black ring which is really pretty so i'll still put quite a lot of black on but it's only in little amounts look just a little drop like that let's see how that goes where else do i need it Maybe just down here. Just a little bit. So that's why I made up that extra colour because I need um, 500 grams of mixed paint ish. 550 grams I need. And I'm not going to use all the black. Okay, so still got some spaces. So let's go again with our colours. Put a bit of blue there. Where else? Some blue. I need to put more of this peach in. I haven't used very much peach. It's a pretty colour, the peach. I'll put some in the black. See how that goes. So basically just filling up gaps now. But I will tilt. To cover everything, let's put a bit there. 
and a little bit more green. Let's do the green on top of the pink. And some there. Get up there. Where else? on top of that blue and then some green on top of that and this one hasn't got very much on it let's put some of that there yep this works okay and just a touch more black here and there just for a bit of definition Big blob. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it, really. So I'm going to tilt in a minute to cover the canvas because I want all the sides to be covered except for my top area that's going to be left white. I don't want the blue to take over too much. I like the green. As I said, spring. I want it to remind me of a spring garden. I think that'll do. I haven't used, I've used almost all the blue, almost all the green. All right. I can, I've got a little bit of paint left in my cups if I need to cover my sides. So I don't want to tilt that way too much because I, I need to keep my white bar there on the top so we'll go to the side and cover this edge here if you've had a lot of paint run over and you've only got a little tiny um, triangle there that needs to be covered you can just put some extra paint on like that you don't want to tip everything off just to get that little corner put it there and let it run over okay so that corner is done or well, that edge is done I should say so we'll go back and do this one now with a swipe you have to be careful not to leave too much paint on your surface I think a lot of people do um, and that's that can be a real problem if you've left too much paint on your surface you, you swipe, your cells look beautiful, and then over time they, they stretch and they go all out of shape. That's generally because there's too much paint left on there and uh, the cells just move. You want enough, obviously, to cover the whole thing, but not too much that um, the cells are going to lose all their shape because it's too much. And you can see how fast the paint's running. If your paint's moving really fast, you know that there's a lot on there. So I'm just tipping that over the edge there, come back, so pretty much got this covered except for this corner here, pop a little bit of paint there, and a little bit of blue just there, so that's, that's done. And I just want a straight line there on the edge. And a straight line there on that edge as well, where my white's going to be. And that's pretty much it, really. Mm, yeah, I'll just leave that plain. Doesn't have to have, they don't all have to have multi colours in them. Alrighty. Got my hands. Move the paint out of the way, make some room. Got a huge table here and it's never enough room, is it? Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to check my white. Leaves a little mound. 
give it a good stir. You don't want any blobs in there. So you're already getting some cells popping up. That's from the paint where the paint's rubbed against each other. Okay, now let's pour the white on. I'm going to have a decent amount because I want it to run over the, the back of the, the canvas and down the sides. A little bit blobby. So I'm just spreading that out and then I'll give it a quick tilt just to smooth it out. I don't know why it's a bit blobby. Bits in it. I noticed that when I was mixing it and I thought oh, I'll mix them out but obviously I didn't. Got little stringy bits in it. Don't know. This cup I used yesterday for a pour so and I'll, I just kept it because I thought yeah I'm going to use white again and I kept it so maybe it's got a little bit of dry paint in it. All right let me just come around here and check that edge. Need a little bit of white there on that corner and then we'll get to swiping this baby. So as I said in previous videos the thicker your paint uh, the, the better the cell shape will be, it will be able to stay in its little uh, round shape better than if the paint was too thin. Alright, let's do this. Um, I've got my cloth there ready to wipe my, my plastic sheets, so I'm going to do one, two and then three. Okay, this is nerve-wracking, isn't it? It's always nerve-wracking when you do something because you've spent a lot of time and money in getting this all organised. You want it to be good, so it is a bit nerve-wracking that you do a good job, especially when there's thousands of you guys watching me. All right, let's do this. Now, I'm not going to go right up to the very top because I don't want to have a bald spot on the edge of my canvas. I'm just going to drop that there. I'm going to wait till it's got good contact. I'm pretty much just touching the white. I don't want to pull all the other colours through. I just want the white to come through over the top of the other colours. And straight off. And then I just wipe the excess off on my puppy piddle pad and give that a wipe. But I will turn it around and use the other side. So I'm going to overlap this just a touch. And go again, make sure I've got good contact. Don't go too fast because it kind of skips. Oops, I've missed a bit. Don't go too fast. You want to keep the contact so slower is better. And don't stop when you've started. I'm going to have to go over that bit there. I didn't overlap it enough. I don't want to go with the plastic again, so I'm just going to do this with my little card. And just go in the middle. All right, now I'll use my clean plastic because that one other one's been used twice already, so now I have to make sure I overlap it enough. You're always going to see a join where your plastic sheet or paper towel or whatever it is that you're using joins up against the other one. You're always going to see that join. Not much you can do about that, but the cells will grow into it and as they grow it should be less noticeable where you've joined it. So give it some time before you think, oh, I hate that, I can see my joins. Just give it some time. Okay. Now, I'll put a bit of white on the edge there. And I'm just going to use my card just to pull that white down over that very edge. Just to there, because this has got nice cells there. It was just that top bit that needed something. Same here, a little bit of white just there, 
and I use the other side of my card. I have to stand over here. Just see if I can gently pull some of that white down over that edge. The edges are always a bit tricky to, to get. But in saying that, you know, just leave it. If you're starting to make a mess of it, just leave it. It's, everyone's going to be looking at the middle, not so much on the very edge there. So I put some white there and that'll just push that last little bit of blue over the edge. And you won't even see it. There we go, it's gone. So I'm happy with that. All right, now I'm going to give it a light torching and I'm only going to use my, my little one today because I don't want to heat it too much. I've already got lots of cells coming up. Um, and I don't want to burn these cells that I've got and melt them and they'll go all out of shape. So, but basically just some heat up here where the white's a bit thicker. Let's see if I can get some cells to come up there. So there they are, they're coming up already. Little ones just across there. And they will grow. Um, and that's why I'm using my, my little guy because I want it to be very selective. I don't want to torch over these that I've already got. I just want to torch in the middle here where I don't have very much. But I don't want the whole thing just cells. I want some background. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's a, That's got the black ring and then it's got a green ring and then it's got the peach color. This is what I was hoping for, multicolored cells. All right, let's go again with the torch. Just in a few areas where I don't have very much cells. Here they come. And up here again in the white where it's quite thick. And again, let it wait. Put your torch down and wait. There's more coming up. They will continue to grow over the next probably hour. So don't look at it and think, mm, there's not much, I'm going to go again. Because they'll all grow and they'll get too big and then they'll all start banging into each other and you'll lose your background. So I'm going to probably just, maybe just torch up here just a touch. And then that will be it because, as I said, they're going to keep growing. No, there's nothing else under there by the looks of it, so I'll leave it at that. don't want to heat, overheat my paint. So, what do you think of that? I'm just going to pop a little bit of paint here where this little peach cell is trying to come through. Yeah. Go away. Cover you up. We want just a white band at the top there. That paint will settle down. Okay, what do you think? Pretty hey, does it look like a spring garden? Hope so. It's really pretty. Probably got a little bit too much black in it actually. See this where I've swiped the black that was at the top's kind of swiped down over there. But in saying that, I have got some really pretty cells. There's a black cell there. It's got pink in the middle and it's got green in the middle again. So those are really pretty. That's what the black does makes these black rings around the cells, which are gorgeous. So I've got them down here as well, black rings around, because they're all kind of pastel colours. I, th I thought it needed something uh, just for a bit of impact. That's why I put just the tiniest little black amount of black in. And I think that's enough. There's a bit there, a bit there, a bit there, a little bit on the side there. So I'll take you in for a, a close-up. Actually, I might take the camera down so that you can see properly. Bring that forward a bit to cover my mess. Sorry, I know you can't see. I'm trying to look at my canvas here. <laughs> Oops, no need to wipe my hands. Okay. There we go. Spring garden. How pretty, hey? Let's go in for a close-up. Pretty little cells down here. See those on the left bottom there? We've got little black rings around them. So if you're having trouble with cells, you know, with flip cups and all that kind of thing, I would recommend starting with swipes. I've, I've 
find them probably to be the easiest um, for getting good cell results. What was that one that I wanted to show you? Um, there he is. Look at that. That was that three ring one. Might even have four colours in it, that little pink one there. So cute. And these little guys up here are really pretty too. Multicolours. So yeah, lots of lots of really pretty multicoloured cells. So have a go at this. Please join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group on Facebook. Show me your pores. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and that way you won't miss any of my videos. And we can chat there as well. I do try to answer as many questions as I can, but I have questions on Facebook and questions on Instagram and questions on YouTube. So sometimes I can't get to all the answer all the questions I'm sorry and I do work as well so it's a bit difficult sometimes getting to all of them but I do try my best so there we go hope you enjoyed that video and uh, I'll see you for the next one bye for now